Welcome back everybody to another edition of Historical Geocaching on the Road with Geocacher Tian Photobug from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Today I am so excited, I am visiting Greenfield Village, an awesome outdoor history museum here in Dearborn, Michigan. Right now I'm in the Railroad Junction District of Greenfield Village, very near the Roundhouse. And right now I'm at the Smith's Creek Depot. Um, I think it has some very important history connection with Thomas Edison. Let's head on inside and learn all about it. Okay. It was um, brought here. It was built in 1858. It was the second stop on, on the Grand Trunk Railroad uh, from Port Huron to Detroit. So it was okay. the second stop. This here is the waiting area. It was very important at the time because what, what do you think was going on in between? This is 1862. Civil War would be going exactly. on? Exactly. Uh, 1861 to 1865, the Civil War was going sure. on. This became very important because the troops, uh, people wanted to learn what was going on. Sure. And uh, 90,000 Michigan soldiers and officers went into war. Okay. Sure. 26 different troops. Okay. Uh, right here, they would post, this is like a Facebook. Sure. All the time, and they would post who was going to be, uh, who was in, in the war. Okay. So, it was a communications hub, sure. in effect. Also, people would send items to their loved ones. Okay. Not perishable goods, but socks and mugs, and pipe, sure. sewing kits, etc. Mm -hmm. And then you, the background noise you hear? Mm -hmm. Telegraph? The telegraph. And that was critical because typically one line ran, so it was essential with the train orders to that if there was any deviation in the schedule, that would happen. Yeah. So the telegraph right now is uh, like instant messaging. Right, right now. sure. But they did a, a Jay Leno a demonstration between the telegram and instant messaging, uh -huh. or texting, huh. and the telegraph one. Wow. Speed. Wow. So this is for you to wait. Okay. But the station master, it's not highly paid, but there was one advantage or could be a disadvantage. This is where they live. Sure. The station, yeah. His family. So this is a commute. Okay. This is wow. A commute. Long commute. <laughs> and this is the station master's bedroom. Okay. All right. So what part of the house is this? This is um, a blanket that's around so in, the, in the cradle there. Okay. From the time. Uh, Seventeen eighty. Wow. And all of this is authentic. Now, we're going to go in the kitchen area to listen to him, but the hub of the house is here, and all the time the ladies in society, etc., would would gather together to sew shirts. Okay. Okay. Or so. It was a hub of communications and things, and good services and information came in here. But when they relaxed, they, they, they didn't have um, Xbox and things like that, so they would sing at the concertina on the table okay. there. Sure. Play cards. And have fun. Me. This is the kitchen. This is the syrup here. Okay. This here is the other Okay. Oh, wow. And how do you think, there's no power cords, so how do you think they have Fire? Yeah, fueled or by, by what do you think? Hard work. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Do you think, what, what type of uh, fueling is Are you ready for Wood? Yeah. yeah. So the job, like, fetching the wood, would fall to the children of the station. Sure. 
Sure. Similarly, there's no running water here. Uh, running water by children's feet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So that, that would be the hub of the home. Okay. Here. And then also, um, ladies' guild gathered here. Who's making the so starters for shirts for okay. the soldiers? Okay. Yeah. So you can see that this is a uh, private area of the station master. Okay. Oftentimes a public area to I see. the ladies' guild sure. societies. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoyed that ladies' tour of the Smith's Creek Depot. Definitely one of the best tours of any building here at Greenfield Village I've ever seen. Um, really neat to learn all about station masters, train station masters, and their lives and different parts of the building. Um, another cool story that happened here was um, Thomas Edison, when he was young, he worked on a train um, and Sell, selling newspapers and of course you know, he grew up to be an inventor so and while he was young he was inventing too and he had he had let um gotten permission from the railroad to set up a science laboratory in one of their cars on the train but um one of his science experiments caught fire and the train car caught fire and he was thrown off the train right here at the Smith's Creek Depot so anyway another interesting story that happened here so thank you so much for watching this video if this is the first time you've watched any of my videos please be sure to hit that subscribe button because i post weekly videos of me visiting historical locations each and every week all across the nation so thank you to all for watching it this video um be sure to check out all of my videos at um youtube.com slash tn photobug and until next time this is geocacher tn photobug signing out i'm indeed happy a blast with the past. <laughs>